Following a quick start, the it's University delicious. of Wisconsin Milwaukee men's soccer team has hit a bit of a slump Robert recently. Lipa, I, Following five wins was, in its first nine games, gotta, the Panthers have hit the end of October ball, and look to turn things around. Shot, score, into two the Milwaukee. Well, you know, every season has its ups and downs, and I would go ahead and say that first part of the season, first half of the season, was definitely an up part. You know, you know, we've lost a few games, had a few ties, haven't really gotten any results. But, you know, things like that happen, and it's just, you know, how do you respond to it? And I think, you know, we're doing all the right things that we need to be doing. I mean, yeah, you know, our most recent game against Madison, we it was a tough one, but, you know, we made two mistakes. But we had a decent second half performance, so we just have to take that and take the positives out of it and move into Saturday, which is our game against Loyola. And, you know, have to go in there, have a good performance, and pick up three points because that's pretty crucial for our, you know, our conference bid. Yeah, we haven't uh, we haven't won a game in five games, six games. So we've lost the last two. We haven't scored in the last two. So yeah, the team team is a little down about that. But uh, been uh, working on finishing in practice and you know just trying to get the team morale back up and get excited because we got a big game this weekend. So kind of just forget the past and move on and hopefully win these next few games so we can get ourselves in the tournament. The Panthers posted a 2-1 win over Marquette, up. and that thrilling mm. double Head overtime victory Bay. against Green Bay. Oh, oh my season. goodness, the Panthers have won the game! They've won they the game in double overtime in the closing second! Yeah, obviously, you know, being best in the state is a big goal for us. You know, we, we set that goal in the beginning of the year, so it was disappointing not to uh, achieve that with the uh, chance to go 3-0 uh, last night, but... They they played well. Wisconsin was a good team. They're a physical team. They got stuck in. They moved the ball quickly, and uh, we didn't come ready to play in the first half. Uh, second half we did a little better, created some chances, but we didn't take advantage of our chances. So we just didn't we just didn't really click as well as we have been earlier in the season, the, the past few games. So uh, hopefully we can you know move out of this little funk we have into the into the weekend and you know get back to our winning ways because it's a really big game against uh, Loyola this weekend. Well, yeah, I mean, it's nice that, you know, yes, we did go 2-1 and one against all Wisconsin teams, but, I mean, would we have liked to go 3-0? and Of course, and then we could say, you know, we're the best team in Wisconsin. But on the day, like I said, you know, two two mistakes in the first half, you know, that's all it takes, you know, two mistakes, and they punished us. And, you know, when they make their mistakes, you know, we didn't take our chances. And, you know, the second half performance, it was good. We took the game to them, and we just, you know, just didn't catch our break. Up next, Milwaukee faces its biggest game of the season as far as the Horizon League standings go. The team currently sits in fifth place and has two games remaining, including the final home league match of the year this Saturday against Loyola. Well, the importance of it is, is that, you know, if we don't pick up three points, then we really put ourselves in a bad position in terms of the conference tournament. So, I mean, three points there is, is crucial. We get our three points, you know, uh, for all probability we'll, we will be in the conference tournament, and that'll be, you know, the end of that. And then obviously after that, then we can go in and if we can pick up more three points in our, or another three points in our last conference game, that'll help us with our positioning in the conference table. But the first thing is just making sure that we pick up the three points against Loyola because, like you said, they're at the bottom of the table. We're expected to win. And, it, you know, there's no reason why we shouldn't. We, like I said, we had a good performance second half of Madison. We just need to build off that. There's no reason why we you know, can't, you know, dig ourselves out of the slump. Like I said, the beginning of the season was on the up. Now we're in kind of a little rut here. We get ourselves out and towards the end of the season finish on a high note. Right, Loyola is one and five in the league, and I, I think uh, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna come ready to play because we haven't done well in the past six games. And yeah, you could say it might be easy to overlook a team that is one and five in the league, but look at us, we're two two and two, and we started off two and zero. Oh, so we ourselves are looking at just making the tournament. So we really need to win this game. So we we can't overlook Loyola because it is a huge game, and for in order for us to put ourselves in a position where we can definitely make the tournament. We need to win these last two conference games. So Loyola is a very big game this weekend.